we are going to look at a couple of different ways that you can tie your clay po pockets um, so that we can actually put our air plants in them to hang it. Okay, so I'm going to try to go through these as quickly as possible. Some are a little bit more complicated than others, but I'm going to do a couple different examples. Okay, so um, this style here is just gonna, going to be using some yarn. So grab your stringer yarn that you're going to use and you don't need very much okay um so i'm just going to probably i don't know about an arm's length okay <clears throat> then what you will do is i'm going to start by looping it so i'm going to kind of move this so you can see so looping it in half just like this Okay, I'm gonna move that. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this through the loop side, through the hole. And sometimes you might need to use like a pencil or the end of the scissors to kind of poke it through a little bit. Okay, so then it should be peeping through and you can pull it. Then, we're going to take this and we're just going to loop through and pull tight. Okay, so then we have this little loop knot situation. Okay, so then what we're going to do here on this side is we're going to take this end and however long you want to be. Um, it's better to be shorter than it is longer. So then what I'm going to do is we're going to Sometimes we gotta twist and put it through like this. Okay, so then pull it to be the length you want it to be. And then we are going to tie this one in a knot. Okay, so just loop around tie it really, really tight. And then I would kind of move this knot to the back. So just kind of shuffle it this way and then go ahead and tie it again. Okay, so then it should be nice and sturdy. Um, you can then move this to the back where those little hangy deals are and just trim that off and then you should be good to go with that style, okay? The other style that we can do is if you would like to use a stick as a decorative element for this, okay? So once again, if you wanna keep the stick as is, you just leave it. If you want it to paint it a color, you will need to do that before. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do kind of the, I don't need very much, again, maybe an arm's length um less than that so i have my string and let's go ahead and cut two even pieces of string to begin with because you are just going to repeat this two times okay so i have my string and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use my stick right now and i've folded this in half okay folded this in half now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the loop side under, um, underneath the stick, okay? And I am going to put it together and pull through, okay? Just like that. So now we have a little situation like this, okay? So then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so it's laying down this direction. It goes underneath. I'm going to go over the wooden dowel here and I'm going to pull through. Okay, so once you have that done, um, you'll wanna move them around to make sure that they are even so like they're not like super close together. So at this point, you can adjust them as you need to, okay? 
And then you'll also want to make sure that maybe you adjust them so that they are lining up with the holes that you plan on using, okay? So once you have that done, if you would like to, you can just leave it like this. Um, if you're concerned that this isn't going to stay, you can tie an additional knot. So you will just do that by looping around and tying tight, okay? So here you just loop and tie. And you just gotta make sure when you pull this, you pull really tight into it. Okay, so now once we have that in those places, I can start doing this and we're gonna have to cut out some of this stuff um, here in a second. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to feed this end through the hole. I'm gonna kind of twist these together to make it easier to stick through here. Like I said, you might need a pencil or a scissors to get both of those poked through. Okay, so I'm going to pull this through and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna twist. Push that through. Okay. So now what you are going to do is you are going to make sure that pulling these down so it's quite even. We don't want very much space in between here. Okay, so make sure it's even. This is probably a good amount of space to keep, okay? So then what you are going to do um, is we are just going to tie another knot. So I'll start here with this side. So we're just going to loop around and you are going to tie this really, really tight onto the back side. Okay, so you'll actually have to do a double knot. It might be easier for you to flip it over. Okay. And then I'm going to loop around, tie it again, in another knot. Okay, so it should be nice and sturdy. You might have to do it one more time. So I'm gonna flip it over. So I gotta make sure to pull this side down a little bit again so that it's even, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna flip over, tie it in my knot. Okay. I'm gonna pull this down so that it's even here with the back side, and then I'm going to double knot it again. Okay. So make sure that that is nice and tight. Um, if it's moving around a little too much, you might need to knot it again, but you should be able to hold it up and it should have some stability here, okay? Um, so if you need to make another knot, do that. But then what you'll do is you'll just trim off these little extras. Okay. Then um, we're gonna create just a little bit of a little hanger on here. So you could use this part as the hanger or um, what you can do is you can either use, you could just tie a knot with a string if you wanted it on there or you can come get a little piece of wire We'll cut it and what you're going to do is you're just going to form a little loop so how to do this what you're going to do is you're going to start just by wrapping around the wooden dowel a couple of times this doesn't need to be very big i probably did this a little too short yeah so we'll do that a, you'll do that a couple times i'm not going to do mine because just so I have space and then we'll just twist 
and you will have a little hook that you can use to hang that there, okay? So those are your hanging options.